Hi, I'm CJ Altenberg with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. Today I'm going to show you a Cimarron stock combo and we talk about stock combos and how versatile and how popular they are. But this one behind me here is at my absolute favorite setup. So we're going to just jump into this trailer, walk you through it. I'm going to kind of point out a couple things that we've done to this. It's not just your standard 24 foot stock combo. It is 24 foot on the floor. Underneath here, we've got your manual single leg jack. It also comes with this handle that will double as a lug wrench for you as well. So you've always got a lug wrench for this trailer with you. Just a nice feature that, that Cimarron's gone in and put on these trailers. If you watch some of our videos before, we talk about it on our Cimarron trailers, on all of our new ones about the gooseneck drop wall. And the reason why that's so important in today's world is the trucks continue to get taller and taller. You know, so it's really hard for us to get the bed clearance we want and keep this trailer running level. We need the trailer running level and that weight on those two axles, but we also want bed clearance. And it's gotten tougher because the trucks have gotten taller. But what we've done here at Trans West on all of our new Cimarron's with exclusion of our living quarters, uh, we've gone in and we went from a 50 inch gooseneck drop wall to a 53. And by doing that three inches, we can get the bed clearance we need. We can adjust the coupler to make sure this trailer's running nice and level. So we're not seeing near the issues with these new trucks um, with those bed heights getting taller and taller trailer running uphill or you basically running on the bed that's going to cause damage to that. So that's something we've done on our Cimarron's. So what we're looking at here is one of the main reasons why I absolutely love this setup. Now this setup is also extremely popular on some three and four horse slants that we have in the Cimarron's. But what you have is, is you have the ability, you've got a front dressing room that's completely sealed off from your closet tack. That way, if you are wanting to change up in that front room, if you're wanting to throw a mattress, bed rolls, anything like that up in the neck of this trailer and spend a night or two in here, well, there you're not smelling all your saddles, your tack, your pads, your blankets. And then it'll also just keep this front room a little bit cleaner. We've got a shelf with a clothes rod in that back corner. We put some hooks up here for you, put some carpet behind it. You've got windows up in the gooseneck, so you can get a cross breeze through there. You've got a boot box for some little miscellaneous storage. And also a nice little step jumping up in there. This tray you see up here to the right, I'll show you what that's for here in a minute, but that's for our plexiglass inserts on these uh, air gaps for this trailer. And the other thing we did at these two basically tack rooms here is we put these fold-up steps. It's just really easy getting in and out of these, these trailers with those fold-up steps to where you're not having to go flat-footed on the ground, clear up and over. Um, so those are nice little features right there that we've done. And then as you look at this, this closet tack setup, first and foremost, you notice everything, again, it's completely sealed off from the front tack. Everything is carpeted. So, you know, tack saddles, anything rubbing against the wall isn't going to scuff up the wall, scuff up your tack. You know, it's just going to keep everything nice and clean. But we went in, you know, we put a lot of hooks in here for you. We understand you've got a lot of stuff that you're carrying four tier saddle rack. Those are adjustable as well. If you want to add a fifth one, you can, but if you want to spread them out, uh, take one out, anything like that, that's easily can be done there. And I'll have you pan up top there. We also put a, uh, a roof in in here, just so if you do need to air it out a little bit, you can just pop that guy open one way or the other and just, again, air it out a little bit. Then on the door, on a gas shock, you've got a four-tier blanket pole rack and then a brush tray for some other little miscellaneous storage. But compared to our 
our slant wall 24 foot stock combos 20 foot stock combos with that that slant wall the only thing we've done is we've actually only gone in and added one foot of of short wall length in that front tack room so we really didn't make it that much bigger than what we normally do on those trailers as we kind of work to the back here so you've got two 7,000 pound rubber torsion axles you have the standard aluminum wheels on the vendor that Cimarron uses for their wheels and tires there's a couple nice little features and benefits you get with that the first thing is these are nitrogen filled tires and the way you can tell is is the green tab on them that means these are filled with nitrogen which isn't going to cause our PSI levels to fluctuate drastically overnight here I mean we got into the 40s and then we'll get warm you know later on today so we have major major temperature differences um, that can fluctuate and when that happens the PSI levels can change so that can cause blowouts for you so on the nitrogen filled tires it won't allow those those PSI levels to fluctuate as they do with air if you need to put air to one of these if you have a slow leak or something along those lines you can put air to them that's perfectly fine talking to mention that uh, if you have a slow leak or a nail or anything like that you catch on these if it can't be patched you have a one-year no questions asked warranty through lion's head so you'll take some pictures of the codes you send it to them they send you a new tire within a couple days and then you also get two years of roadside assistance as we look at the rest of this trailer on this side I mentioned the plexiglass so on our upper and lower air gaps we have the plexiglass inserts. Each one of these trailers, these stock trailers, Cimarron builds, has the track already built in there. This one we went ahead and optioned with the plexiglass. But they all have this little cutout right here. So they just slide in. So if you want to open them up, you can. I recommend all my customers carry a roll of masking tape and a black sharpie because if I take out passenger lower I'll just take them all out I'll tape them together and write passenger lower and then put them up in that storage tray the reason why is is it's just so much easier when you go to put this plexiglass in you know exactly which air gap it goes to you've got some exterior tie rings and then I always like to point out too on these Cimarron's you get a bolt-on fender that's not a weld on so if for some reason you have a blowout or do damage to these guys you know it's very very simple to use to to swap out and also you're not spending near as much in labor on a weld on replacing it as we come to the back here we just did a single rear gate again we put the plexiglass in there we really like to, to close down the air gaps at the back of these trailers because that's where wind can swirl back here. And especially if you're on some, some dirt roads, it'll actually suck that dirt into the back of the trailer and then get in there to where the animals are. So again, this is a 24 foot stock combo and what we have on this short wall or on on passenger side here that wall is 15 feet we have a four foot offset so we have a 19 foot on the long wall of this stall area so this is still a very very good size stall area even though we added a foot in the tack room and kind of lengthened that back this way a little bit but you'll notice we went in and we upgraded we put you know rubber kick mats all the way around this trailer so it's on each wall it's on the partition wall and i'll show you on that back gate when we leave too we did it on there as well you've got a slam latch on the center gate and how we did it from a dimension standpoint in this very first stall area is on our slant load horse trailers they average that that stall is 39 inches and that's usually your drop window so 39 inches 
So six foot six, that's what we did at this front stall area here. So you can get two saddled horses very comfortably in this trailer in that front stall there. You've got a tie, ring, uh, tie rail that goes the full length, kind of between those air gaps. So it's nice and easy to tie even with that plexiglass in. We talk about it time and time again, the insulated roof that Cimarron comes with, uh, it's very, very strong. I can walk on that roof, it will not dent it. It'll take substantial hail. But most importantly, it keeps your stall area cooler for your animals. About 20% versus an aluminum sheeted. And then we put four roof vents in here so you can manipulate airflow in different directions. And then we're standing on the industry's best floor. So a 12 inch deck, double tongue and groove, locks in, four inch centers. So whether you're hauling horses, livestock, anything like that, wherever they're standing, they're standing on a support beam. As you spread those centers and do an aluminum sheeted, basically floor that's tack welded from the bottom, over time that's where you get those big pits or waves in the floor uh, because the animals aren't standing on a support beam but I grab my tape measure because the other cool thing about these, these stock combos that makes them so versatile is yes, we can haul livestock, we can haul horses, but you can also haul some toys. So like I mentioned, this wall over here is 15 foot long. So if you're, a ra if you're pulling like a razor or any four wheelers, anything like that, you know, a razor will fit lengthwise in here. They're also 64 inches wide on the big ones. So if we go from where that gate is over here to the wall, you'll notice that we're 74 inches. And then as we get to the back opening here, we go from inside post to inside post, we're at 67 and a half. So it'll be a little bit tighter as you're loading back here at this back gate but you have plenty of room to get a big side-by-side -side in here as well. So maybe you can eliminate an extra trailer around your place. This trailer can do it all. That's what makes the stock combo so popular is because of their versatility. Like I mentioned, there's that kick mat and rubber on this back door even too. this back corner you'll see four different light switches and those light switches are all individual so we've got lights on the exterior on each side and then a couple here at the back and then we have our OptiBright LED lights on the inside everything's LED on this trailer as far as lights go but you can individually turn those light switches on as we get over here to driver side four more exterior tie rings And then we've got an escape door at that front stall. So like I mentioned, this is a 24 foot stock combo, front dressing room, closet tack setup. And what's really cool is, is, is we're going to offer you, I mean, this is a 2019, so it's a closeout trailer. So there's some big savings on this. We're ready to move this trailer. If you're interested in it, you can give us a call and just let us know. 5N181246 is what you're interested in. We do have other stock combos. If you want something along the lines of this trailer with maybe some you know tweaks here or there some different options we can build you a trailer just like it so give us a call if you're interested 303-684-3400 again my name is cj altenberg with transwest truck trailer rv in frederick colorado thanks for tuning in have a good day